Bill Watts was the guy who gave me the barbarian. And then uh, Jake took me to a barber and shaved my head, kind of like kind of like a hawk had already had, you know. Um, and and uh, back then, the road orders were over so strong, everybody was saying, well, let's try to be a little bit like the road warriors or something, you know. So I kind of was told to do an off, off thing off them. And, but me and Jake were pretty much partners for about nine, 10 months in, in 1985. And, and it was, a, Jake was a lot of fun. He really was. And everybody, uh, you know, has stories about Jake, but when I met him, we were both so young that, you know, he was just a little boy inside. He's no different than the rest of us. But yeah, and Jake really took care of me. He, the, the, Jake really is a wrestling genius. You know. Yeah, and he just re-signed, I guess, with AEW for another two years. So he's lucky to yeah be getting those big paydays again. I just heard that. I just heard that too today, and uh, I'm like, God, only Jake can. You have this body, you know, it's like you don't work out, he's like half, you know. Uh, and if you think Jake is sober, you're freaking nuts, Jake. I hope you heard that because I know him so well. He could be sober, maybe. He's probably a lot like me. I can get, I can be sober for a month, but not much past that. I just don't got it in me, I just don't care to be. But um, I had Jake up for a show in 1999 at a real uh, hoity-toity high school in Minneapolis, a real rich high school. My nephew was going there, and they were trying to raise money. And I called Jake. I said, will you come in for a grand? And he said, yeah. So he did come in. But, I, but he comes up, and he says, uh I want the grand first. <laughs> and I said, really? Come on. Like, you know I'm going to pay you, dude. Come on, get over that. And he goes, no, man. And I think he was stoned or something. So I put the grand in his hand. He disappears. God, guess what happens? Jake goes to the, to the, to the hood, the same place I've been. It ain't nothing I haven't done myself and gets high as hell, shows up at the high school higher than hell. And Lynn Denton, who I had brought in too to go main event uh, with at this high school, uh, and Jake's throwing up over the top rope, and one of his boots gets pulled off in the match and he's throwing up in that (laughs) there's people in minnesota that will never let me forget about that man but if jake or lynn denton lived there they wouldn't they they wouldn't know what i mean it's just yeah he had to be there yeah jake did that to a lot of promoters actually before he supposedly went sober (laughs) Um, Len Denton, you bring him up. Uh, I know you were talking about him earlier. I've interviewed him. Apparently, uh, he's not the biggest guy downstairs in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.